Oh, I've been a defiant little girl, my friends. I feel like I just snuck out of the timeout chair when no one was looking and got into that candy drawer anyways. And the candy drawer being the Walmart fashion department. Hi, my friends, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Angela and my channel focuses on fashion entertainment while still showing you all kinds of affordable fashion pieces and cute outfit ideas for us women in our 40s and beyond. So if that kind of thing sounds good to you and you want to see more of that kind of video in the future, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. So apparently Walmart has put us in time out and told us no more new clothes for you. Well, y'all know I couldn't listen to that craziness. And I had to go anyways, and I found some new things to show you guys anyways. <laughs> I think that was Mr. Evil taking over my body and creating that little laugh to come out. Austin Powers, right? First Saturday of the month. You guys hear that? And I had to start filming when the tornado siren was being tested. Yeah. Apparently my timing is not great. All right, so let's get into what I did sneak out to find for you guys this week. Oh, and by the way, number one, yes, I am wearing pajamas right now. By the end of this video, you'll see why. And number two, stay tuned to the very end of this video because my extras this week are really good. My extras today all involve emotions. Now, first is being annoyed. The thing I'm gonna share with you probably would annoy about 99% of people on this planet. Number two, joy. This thing, I like makes me, brings me to tears every year. And number three, excitement. There are two things that I wanna share with you guys that I'm hoping will bring you a little bit of excitement as well. All right, so let me get changed out of my little pink flamingo PJs that actually I've been loving from Walmart. I wear these all the time. And let's get started. All right, ladies, I am pulling all the stops out for you guys today. Take a look at this whole little cute outfit before we break it down. All right, so we've got some fall here, don't we? These pants totally fall. I'm so, I'm so excited about them. Uh, the shirt and the pants came from Walmart this week. And as you can see, had to pull out the jean jacket to help create the rest of the look. Here's a quick little spin. All right, now let's break it down. So we've got a combo here today, my friends. This top came from No Boundaries and the pants are time and true. So we got a little of both here. The top is a medium. They had two different color striping. I kind of liked these colors. You can kind of see it's got like some salmon-y color and some burgundy and the cream. Love this little neckline here. Now, the thing about this is I think you want to leave it untied. I tried to kind of tie it and it kind of creates a little bit of weirdness going on here. I don't know. I mean, it would almost need to come a little lower. Maybe it doesn't look too bad. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but I kind of had left it undone like that. And, you know, you got this hanging here, but whatever. Uh, so this top, here's it, here it is all the way out. It's rounded in the front, comes up and then down again in the back more fitted okay so again go up two sizes if you want it a little looser so ten dollars yeah this top was ten dollars it's really cute it's got a little sleeves for you guys and like I, I just put a uh, jean jacket on over it as we're transitioning here and the days get a little bit cooler you could go from just wearing this together right to adding the jean jacket these pants are by time and true they are a cargo type pant they're a beautiful olive green, and they've got pockets here in the front. They've got a little cargo button pocket, right a, a little bit lower. They roll at the bottom, although that's the way they came. Yeah, you can unroll these, they're not uh, stitched. And in the back, they've got open pockets, no flaps or anything on, on top of those. So the amazing thing for me about these pants, girlfriends, okay, number one, they were $17. These feel like a very nice quality cargo pant for $17. So very happy that I found these and picked them up right when they came out because you know what happens. You don't pick the stuff up, you lose out because they're gone. So, and Walmart is pretty good about restocking things. 
but you might have to wait a while. So if these are interesting at all to you, you might wanna get out there and get them either online or in store, get them now and save them and decide, you know, give yourself a little time to decide um, before they're gone. Okay, the next thing that's amazing about them is that I was finally able to go down a size in what I would normally wear in Time and True. I was so excited about that. So that's just making my day today, girlfriends. Loving these, they're keepers. Apparently, I just learned a little lesson and I shouldn't be tooting my horn too quickly over here, okay? Because these jeans that I picked up from Walmart this week as well, they're by Time and True. I picked them up in a size six by the way they looked on the hanger and I'm glad I did because guess what? They are fitting snug as a bug in a rug. All to say, if you get the cargo pants, probably going down a half a size size, try those out. They may be good, but in these little lovely wine colored pants by Time and True, you're gonna need to stick with your normal size. Now, they're not too tight for me, but I was thinking I was going somewhere with the size down in the olive pants, but apparently I need to stick with my normal. So here is a full outfit for you guys. I thought this is really cute for going into fall and just a nice little casual outfit with just some color going on down here. And you know what? I have a scarf that I brought down too. Let's just see what that looks like added to this. All right, what are we thinking? I think that looks cute too. The colors in the scarf have the same little wine color as in the pants, so it all kind of flows together. So let's get into these pants now. They are by Time and True. They're a high rise skinny. They have a button fly, as you can see. Uh, they do have the standard pockets in the front and in the back. They do have some distressing. And if you bend, that distressing is coming right above the knee. So your knee is not popping out from the distressing. The ends of them are scissor cut. So if you like that kind of thing, great. If you don't, you can always try to roll these pants as well and kind of go with that little look. But this color, this wine color is beautiful. Love the color, the fit is great. And they were $19. So what a great color to wear going into fall and really even winter. Check it out. I'm gonna show you the whole thing first, everything put together and it was all wrapped around these little earrings right here. That's what inspired this whole outfit to come together. So here's a whole look, and let's break it down again. All right, so let's start with these little gems that I found this week at Walmart. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of black, it's got gold, and it's got a little leopard print that matches the top that I have on. These were by Time and True. They were the only pair of earrings that I saw like them, so they must have just sold right out. And I get to the register and the deal of the day, they were $1.50. Can you believe that? One of the first things I thought of when I saw these earrings, Kayla, are you out there watching? If you are, I thought of you. These earrings are totally a Kayla earring with the little leopard print, the little bling, the gold and the black. These are for you, girlfriend. So if I can find a link for these online, because they may be an in-store only purchase, I don't know. But if I can find them online, I will put the link below with all the other stuff I'm showing you. So, and pink jacket alert, right? So it's so fun because every week when I show this and I talk about the pink jacket sightings, Somebody else in the comment, a few more people have said, oh, it's in, you know, it's in Massachusetts or, um, gosh, I forget now. I think there was another place in Michigan. So I'm sorry if I'm forgetting and you told me, but there's been some more sightings is my point of this pink jacket. So again, get it while you can. I paired it with, uh, oh, and the, and the jacket by Time and True, just in case you didn't know, um, pink jean jacket, you gotta love it. And this little tank was by No Boundaries. It's a leopardish type print. It's got buttons down the side. I showed it to you a couple of hauls ago. It's like on the silky side. And I did get this in a medium because it's No Boundaries, junior brand. So I like this, and especially with something over it, you know, if you need to hide the arms a little bit. And just with a pair of jeans, and I put on my pair of black slides from Scoop 
It kind of completes the whole outfit there. Loving these, they've been going with a lot, but oh, these earrings, right? So I think this creates a really cute, trendy, little bit edgy outfit, right? Okay, so let's get to these extras that I have to share with you guys. First, let's talk about the super annoying. Okay. Oh, Bentley, you wanna come and say hi? Sometimes he just likes to walk around the house like this. So this little extra has to do with him and I. Last night, I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. You probably all know what I'm talking about. I come back and lay down and I'm just, you know, trying to fall back asleep. Sometimes it takes a while and all of a sudden, I hear one of the most annoying noises ever, right? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Mosquito. It's dark, you can't see the darn thing, and you know if you don't get under your covers and put them all up over your head, he's gonna keep coming around and bugging you, right? So it is hot and I didn't want to pull the covers under there and get sweaty and I couldn't breathe and that's the worst. So him and I get up, we bring my pillow downstairs and sleep on the couch the rest of the night because I knew that mosquito was still up in my room. And I thought there's no way I can go back to sleep with that little zzzz. Oh, it's like the worst, isn't it? Really bad. So anyways, him and I slept on this couch for most of the night and then a thunderstorm started. So this little guy went up scratching on my daughter's door. She lets him in and he just is panting and you know, the whole story about that. So we both kind of had a little bit of a rough night because it took us a while to fall back asleep once we even got down here. Did you have a rough night? I think you did. Hopefully you'll get a better night's sleep tonight, right? <laughs> I think he needs a treat. Oh, he's happy now. Yep, just took off with his treats. Okay, so tell me that sound annoys like all of you, pretty much out there, right? And you just can't get away from it. Once you know it's in your room, you're not going back to sleep, right? Without getting fully under your covers. And mostly that, that happens in the summertime. It's too darn hot to get under your covers, right? So it's like, my gosh, what do you do? So annoying. Okay, the next emotion I have to share with you guys has to do with something that almost brings me to tears every year. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys. Here it is, and then we'll talk about it. August, right? Yeah. Well, we had our fireworks scheduled for the Saturday before 4th of July. That's how it always happens every year on our lake. Well, the weather was not that great. It was, it was raining that day. It just looked like it was not going to be a go. So then we get a notice that it was moved. Okay. Well, it was moved to August 7th. I mean, unbelievable, right? Like we've never had our fireworks on the lake be that late in the year. But the good news is today's my daughter's birthday and it just so happens that the fireworks are tonight. So she thought it was awesome, like that she could have her friends come over, go out on the boat and see the fireworks for her birthday. So that actually worked out kind of cool. And the finale is all good. I love the finale of the fireworks, right? We, I think we all do. There's just something exciting about it and just all those fireworks going off at one time, you're just like, wow, you know? But my favorite, favorite part are all the hooting and hollering at the end when it's all done and all the boat horns and everything. It is just, it just feels like such a community coming together and sharing in this experience. It's like, it's one of those moments that makes you feel so proud to be an American, like you're all in it for the same thing. Celebrating the birthday of our country, right? And the third emotion, 
which is hopefully going to be exciting. My husband and I are getting ready to go on vacation and we are heading down to Tennessee first. Uh, it's going to be the very end of August and I was kind of wondering if there's anybody that lives down in that area that would like to get together for a meetup. Our first full day down in Tennessee, we're going to be in the Pigeon Forge area, is going to be um, Sunday, August 29th. And because it's a weekend, I was kind of thinking about that day because it's just easier for people that being off work and all that in a public place in that in Pigeon Forge somewhere. Haven't thought about it, but I just want to see if there's interest for any of you that will either A, be on vacation down there at that time, or B, you kind of live close and you might want to take a little drive on a Sunday and join me for a meetup. So if any of you are up for that, then let me know down below in the comment section. And if we've got some interest, I will start planning a time. And if not, we'll just call it a day. Um, if you guys missed it, I'm going to put a picture up here of the 10 people that won the $10 Starbucks gift cards because hopefully you all saw the post, but if you didn't, here's going to be a picture of the winning name. So congratulations to all of you guys and enjoy. I think we ended up with a pretty darn good Walmart haul, even though it, weren't, it wasn't many items, it was still a pretty darn good Walmart haul. And you know what? I'm going to keep all four items that I got today. Yeah. So I hope you guys are well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.